Not as thick as I like them, but she's still bad though. Locked and loaded. Let's get it, girl. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel and for this one man i wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on domino personally one of my favorite characters from this update and one that i think that marble did an amazing job with both in terms of her overall appearance and in terms of her overall skill set because i think domino plays exactly how she should play and i think it mirrors pretty closely what she is in the comics a luck based and skill based character a character that if you don't know what you're doing when you're playing with her she dies very easily but if played properly and luck is on your side you can actually do very very well with her and she's actually going to be a pretty good character for world boss ultimate shadowland and alliance battle especially since we just got a female superhero speed day now i know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how does she stack up to the other four characters that we got in this update and i'll tell you guys this right now okay domino is the weakest character however that doesn't make her a bad character it just means that those other characters are significantly more powerful than she is because of course strife is a tier 2 native deadpool is a tier 2 native and psylocke is a crystal character okay 6600 crystal so the only fair comparison here is to compare her to phantom x and phantom x is only a little bit better than her simply because he has a little bit more dps and he has that healing 
if he didn't have the healing, it would be fair game between the two of them in my opinion. But because he has that healing, it makes it so that if you play Phantom X, you can make a lot more mistakes and not die as easily as opposed to with Domino. You have to be very, very careful because you don't have a recovery that you can rely on. However, you have four iframes and you have damage reflect on her third skill. Okay, she has two long iframes, one on the four, one on the five, and you have two partial iframes, one on the two and one on the one. The one on the two is actually a situational iframe and I'll show you guys what I mean right here really quickly. It only activates when you're really close to the enemy. So if you are like right here, then she'll move back, then throw the bombs. But if you're just right here, you won't get that iframe. So it's really good to do something like this with her. Start with the five because either the five or the four, it doesn't really matter. Those are her two highest damaging skills. So you want to start with the five, in my opinion. Then you want to go into the four and after the four, which is a long animation, then you want to go one and the one leaves you right in front of the enemy. So you will then use two to move back and then you can just jump back into the five skill. That's how I suggest you play her. So you go five, four, one, two, and the three skill actually has a really, really long cooldown. I believe it's 30 seconds. So even with max skill cooldown, you are not going to be able to use this in every rotation. I really like the animation, the dice. I really, 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 really like this animation. It looks so freaking cool. But yeah, the dice is really cool. And this gives you some reflex. So you should always try to put it up. That's going to help add to your survivability. So 5, 4, 1, 2 is the rotation in my opinion. Let's get out of here. And we'll talk a little bit more about how you should ideally be setting her up. Because she's one of those characters where because of the fact that she's a luck based character, in my opinion, you should be giving her a dodge. And I genuinely don't say that because dodge in this game is not really that good of a stat, but she also gets dodge right here as a part of her four star passive. 20% is pretty significant. And from her tier two passive, I believe personally that she should have gotten 35 to compete with someone like Black Widow. I think 25 is too low for a character that's based on luck. That's just my opinion. And she also gets critical damage and guaranteed critical rate. So when you're building her, since her gears, guys, also gives her a little bit of critical damage right here, you should ideally not be giving her any kind of critical damage Uru because of the fact that you're gonna be very, very easily over the cap with her because even without giving her any kind of additional critical damage, simply because my cards have some, she's gonna be at least 10% over. To be honest, I believe she's gonna be about 15, maybe 20% over by the time her gears are at 20. So do not give her any critical damage Uru don't give her any kind of obelisk with critical damage on it and to be honest if you have your cards built well you probably don't need to give her ignore defense only thing you might need to give her is some skill cooldown if your cards are not that good but even skill cooldown she actually gets natively so the three stats that i personally think you should focus pretty heavily on is actually attack speed critical rate and dodge yes i think you should invest in dodge because in the off chance one of your skills get cancelled at least then you have some other means to keep yourself alive if you get lucky because diamond knows all about being lucky and you get off a dodge right so i personally think that you should ideally try to get 75 percent for critical rate and if you have enough stats left you should try and get dodge as high as possible and i think you should do the exact same thing for attack speed because domino actually attacks pretty rapidly and she's really really good at locking down enemies and that makes her very very effective in something like shadowland and even without max skill cooldown i can actually seamlessly transition between all of her skills as you guys are about to see when it comes to her ISO set, for me personally, you can go with any of the three offensive ISO set. Don't go with anything else but offense, okay? Hawkside will work if you desperately need more skill cooldown. But like I said, she gets some natively and it's in the top right here. So you don't ideally need Hawkside. But if you do get Hawkside, at the very least, that will give you an additional means to get some more dodge to get you close to that 75% cap to go along with the guarantee dodge once you get it to tier two i think she's going to become significantly better and significantly more powerful at tier two than she is at tier one i think she's one of those characters that performs her best once she gets her tier two passive you can also
also obviously go for Power of Angry Hulk if you need more attack speed. And when it comes to her obelisk, I think it's completely up to you. Just don't give her anything with critical damage, like I said previously. So if you're building her for ABX to compete on the speed day, you could go something like Ignore Dodge, Critical Rate, and a damage proc. I would not recommend going with Invincibility simply because you don't want to lower her DPS any further, simply because she is a speed character. So natively, her DPS is not extraordinary. So my opinion, try to learn how to play her and don't rely on making mistakes, okay? If you do make mistakes, it happens, but ideally, I think you should not be going for invincibility. Go with the damage proc. You can also go with dodge, critical rate, and a damage proc, but I think you should go a little bit more aggressive with her, especially since if you can get her to level 70, she's gonna be one of the best characters for speed, female, superhero day, for extreme alliance battle that being said guys let's jump into a little bit of gameplay and test out my domino guys so we're gonna go up against this loki boss right here since it has a lot of mobs in there and that should give you guys a good idea of how well she performs in shadowland even when it gets pretty chaotic when you have a whole bunch of mobs running around all right so we're gonna start off with the five where you going loki And she just reminds me of Punisher with that skill. The four skill just looks like it got taken from Punisher, which I can't hate on it because it looks really, really cool. I love it on Punisher and I'm loving it on her as well. She's just kind of like a hybrid of Black Widow and Punisher in his Netflix uniform. That's what she reminds me of. I haven't even used the three yet because I don't really need to use it. It's just so fun. Like her crowd control ability is just amazing. I don't even know where Loki is. Oh, here he is. She, well, I guess I sh it's she. Dusted. Seriously, guys. Dusted. No freaking obelisk. And she was still able to do this in just over a minute. I'm telling you guys, even though she's being dubbed as the weakest character from this update, that doesn't mean she's a bad character. She was able to do this with little to no effort at all, didn't get hit, and she was able to do it in just over a minute. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for this one, man. Just wanted to give you guys a small look at Domino because I think she's actually a beast, okay? Beast mode certified, guys. Definitely won't disappoint you if you pick her up. But that's it for today, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.